Mshesa. Sasi mpacha za kusambe. Angege ngale ngaitu na mklash. Ante. Kakash. Ange ugu wazbalu kumitati ule uneke za itene. Hei. Uma wabu unifungu sala la. Uma sala. Mina na mpazo wa msia hamba. Njenga maish. Ange soo yako. Ushe. Ange wazbalu mpata ngati ngini mtonje. I'm human. Hei. Ungo wa mwe. Pik patale. Ndi kokele malishizi. Futi. Se hamba jenga maish. Ii pasha za uchekele. 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 Ii you get with my people. I see one fool standing in front of me. My name is Lincoln Sibero. And right now, you're in my town. Yeah. You read and you memorize. It states in black and white. Marrying a 15-year-old is illegal. You should be in jail right now. You need to get out of my town and stop messing with my mayor. Because if you mess with him, he can't run the town. If he can't run the town, it affects the people. And when that happens, I lose my cool and people get hurt. Especially when Dalanti and Tanangu and Abba mess about with other people's women. I don't bloody care. You get out or else. This dude right here ain't playing. <laughs> uh, I love this show. Anybody who's wondering, this is called Issa Dengo. It's a, a South African soap opera that I've been watching for over almost two years now. The story goes that man just left was trying to take this girl away because he paid money for her when she was younger to marry her. And she doesn't want to marry him. She wants to marry the guy with the blue. So he's going to take matters in his, home, in his own hands and kidnap her, which you're going to see in a minute. So he's kidnapped her now. They have to get her back. This guy's a creep. This guy is sick, old ass man trying to get some young girl. She doesn't even want to marry his ass. She don't even love his ass. Holy shit, it looks like she really spit in his face too. I mean, she's pretty, but goddamn, I ain't letting no woman spit in my face. I ain't gonna let nobody pay me to let somebody spit in my face, because that's the ultimate insult. That means you can't stand them, you hate them. That nigga licked that shit! What the f- Yo, he crazy as fuck, dude. Let's cut this thing. I know, I see that. I'm gonna cut this Who's a fool of No, she won't. Because she hates you. You can't force anybody to love you. Especially when you kidnap their ass. That ain't gonna work. You sick man. So her boyfriend, who happens to be the mayor of the city, his name is Shichaba. Um, he goes on on nationwide television to ask the people of HD, that's where he um, lives, called Horizon Deep in South Africa. If they know where his girlfriend is, please come forward to help him. They eventually find out where this sick fuck is holding his girlfriend, his fiance, and you're going to see what happens. We even got sick people in our own communities, trust me. 
he's waiting for his friend to come so he can take him and that girl away so they'll never be seen again. It ain't gonna work. I don't want much. What's your name? You come for see where you go to jail? Huh? Bethany? She really looks scared. I gotta say, she's a good actress. Oh. She's been on the show for almost two years. Look at this shit. He got wives already and he wants her. He got wives. Yeah, because in Africa, people have wives. More than one. Some of them do. She want to go to fuck home. I don't blame her. You're already in trouble. You kidnapped her, you son of a bitch. You're a sick man. He's a punk. See, now she really gonna be scared because the guy's there to take them away. And she don't want to go because she want to be with her fiance. I'd be scared too if I was a woman and I couldn't do anything. I was all tied up and this sick fuck wants to take me home somewhere. I don't want to go. Don't worry, you about to get caught right now, motherfucker. It's over. They found her. He ain't playing. He fighting for his woman. He don't give a shit. I don't blame him. He got friends to help his ass take this son bitch down too. And they all gonna take his ass down. Look at this. Stomp that motherfucker. He saved her. Glad they found her ass in time for this sick fuck to do what he wanted to do with her. She's not okay. She's fucking traumatized. So this episode, what you're seeing right now, just aired today. I had to watch it at my job because I was so trying to see what happened because on Friday she got kidnapped. They never showed her get kidnapped, but he tried to call her and she wouldn't answer. So like the lady said in that clip you saw earlier on, the guy kidnapped her. But now he found his 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 woman. He got his fiance. And now hopefully they can put this behind them and that's the end of their crisis. Because they these this these two are a good couple on the show. I actually am rooting for them to be together because they're together already. But as far as them staying together and everything, it looks like they're going to get married soon. And when they have couples like this, they always start to throw some obstacles in front of them, which they've done a lot. And they've withstand and withstood each one. So hopefully this is the last hurdle they have to get through so they can get married and I can be happy and they can be together forever. Yay! <laughs> but this is the kind of soul proper that I watch. I watch this South African soul proper. It's called Issa Dengo. A lot of clips that I have, like the black love kissing and stuff like that, there's some clips that came from this actual show as well. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. Anybody that wanted to watch this, I appreciate you looking at it. And uh, I'll be looking forward to the next episode tomorrow. I'm just glad they got this guy. They stopped him before he could take her away and do what he wanted to do with her. Sadly, this does happen in Africa still. There are some places that this does still occur man has more than one wife they will even abduct the women and make them their wives by force if they have to and it shouldn't be happening at all but i'm glad this particular soap opera addressed it and the girl was found before it got worse thank god and you two could be together shachaba uh Sichaba and Findile. so I'm glad, I'm glad they found each other again i'm glad he found her and she's safe and hopefully there'll be no more problems for them for a while on the show anyway i'm out this is jago 79 on lethal black men's channel and i'll see you next time i'm gone